Hi, Emmy Mom from EmmyMom2.com here. And today for my Fix It For Me Wednesdays, rather than just show you my before and after picture and kind of tell you what I did, I'm going to show you what I did and using Lightroom, which is the program I do often use the most. And so not only will this kind of show you what I like to do when I am really editing and working a lot on a picture, but it will also be a good tutorial on how to work Lightroom. And so you open up Lightroom and you want to make sure that you have your picture in a folder where you want it to stay because otherwise if you move it to a different folder then Lightroom will not and no longer know where it is and it's just kind of tricky so get your picture where you want it in a folder. And then you come to import here. And my picture that I'm coming down to is in my personal pic fixes folder and we're just going to use this picture here for today. So I import the picture, and here it is. And after you import the picture, you can see the histogram over here with the colors, you can see some information, but what you'll want to do is go to develop. And once you're in develop, on the left hand side here, you'll see lots of presets that I've just gotten for free. And they're ones that, or they have ones I bought from different companies, like one company I love is prettypresets.com and where you can get a lot of free presets if you google Matt's Killer Lightroom Tips. He's got a great blog that totally tells you how to do Lightroom and also has links for lots of free presets you can download so definitely do that. So the first thing I do when I come into a picture is if there's any blemishes or things you know on the skin or things in the background that I don't like I'll get rid of those first but he's a baby so there's not really any of that and why I get rid of those first is because say if you're doing the picture in black and white or doing it in a sepia for example you don't want to do it in black and white and have to get rid of the blemishes then do it in sepia and have to get rid of the blemishes so you do the basic kind of fixes first so I usually like to come in first and well first I will come in and I will often update my exposure and just things like that very first just you know sometimes I do that and some so one of the things I like one of my presets that I really like that I've recently discovered these are on one perfect presets volume 3 can't remember exactly where I got them but I love their auto white balance so I come in just click that and you can tell it kind of made the cool picture a little bit cooler and then let's do auto brightness and boom a little brighter and then now I will come in over to these over here are your brushes and if you click on this little brush here see if you click on this one there it's cropping this one here is a brush and there's these different brushes these are the ones that come standard these are the ones that I've downloaded just extra brushes and one that I love is my wow eyes sharpen and I usually then I adjust you can adjust your brush size right here and I just whoop over the eyes and you can see just how much whiter it kind of gets the eyes and sometimes it's a little too much actually so I usually tone down the brightness just a bit because it's a little freaky almost and then another I click new and then I like to do the burn darken and as you can see they're kind of just kind of disappear into pictures so there we go and we'll go back here see how I like that and if I you know decide I don't like it if I decide I want it it was too much then I can always go in and erase that a bit hurry and try and hurry through this so now that I've got that done with this picture it really could be a great picture in a lot of ways and it's great kind of how it is but I'm gonna do something kind of creative and fun and different to it so I'm gonna start off it and then if you see here up at this histogram, this triangle has no fill in it. So I'm going to increase the black a lot. And just by increasing the black, it made his eyes stand out more because it increased that in there. And so it did it quite a bit. And then I'll keep it to the original aspect. Or if you're wanting to print it in an 8x5, 8x11, 5x7, you can pick that. And then it will make it stick to that ratio. So I'm just going to stick. I'm going to go custom here because we're going to try something fun. Oh, it locked on it five by seven. Custom. Here we go. There's what I want. All right. And this, there you go. Let's just go in here with the original. And we will actually unlock that. And go to custom. Unlock it. There we go. Then we can 
do kind of whatever the heck we want. So we're going to get really tight in on him here. Okay, that's how I want it cropped. Then you just double click on it, and then there it's cropped to that size. And then, let's see, so I increased my black clipping quite a bit there. And now it's a little reddy, a little orangey to me. So I'm going to, and a little yellowy even, so I'm going to come and slide my temperature. And see with Lightroom, you can just slide it around and woo, see that would be way extreme and way off. And you just kind of can slide it and adjust it and kind of just do what you, know, you feel and what you want. And then it's still kind of ready. So I'm going to come down here to this down quite a bit. And you can do that with hue, with luminance, and any colors, greens, yellows. You can just, you know, totally just kind of mess with them. And that's kind of the fun thing because you can always undo it. And also, just so you know, down under your presets here, it will show your history. So here is what I've done to this picture. I've imported it, the white balance, and you can always go back at any time and say, nope, I want to start over. Let's go back there. And you can go back. So that is the great thing. But we'll come back up to here where we're at. And now let's mess with the temperature just a bit more. No, that's too much. All right, let's go with there. And then another thing I'm going to show you, not only can you crop it, but you can also change the angles, which I did on this picture. Because when I first was looking at this picture, I was using it for, um, for an I Heart Faces thing where they were talking to the picture. And so let's bring that angle back just a little more so I can make this picture a little bigger. And there we go. And that kind of just boom, kind of pops, just big like that. And then always pretty much with every picture you'll want to, anyways, that it doesn't matter. And then let's actually come back over to a preset. And I'm going to come to one of my favorite presets here. And I really, I just kind of, I mess around with pictures like this sometimes, and let's, let's sharpen it. Then you can always then just come and slide it down and, and bring it back down. Oopsie, I went way too far. So you can just adjust things and play with things, and there we go, that's pretty good. That's kind of, whoop, a little too much. Let's bring down the brightness a bit, is what we'll do. Alright, so well, that's not exactly like the original before and afters I did of the first one, but I just brought this back in, but that's kind of fun and just a different look. And then something fun you can always do, you click here and it will show you your before and after. And this isn't obviously the original before, but it takes it back to a certain step. and. And so and there you go. There's the difference. This is the original. Well, this is the original. It's just cropped and angled funny just to show the same crop and angles. And there's my before and afters. And so then really then when you're all done, if you decide that that's what you want, then you can just go file, export, and it will usually export it to the same place, same folder as original photo, or you can take it to a certain place if you want. This is where you can watermark pictures. If you have a watermark, those are all my different watermarks for Emily Catherine Photography. You can sharpen for screen. You can make it a certain size if you're needing it. You can decrease the quality if you're not wanting other people to steal it. You know, whatever you want to do. So we'll go ahead. Oh, and I do remember something else that I did do really fast before. Something that's kind of fun is one of the pre- to remember the where I put this. I really need to organize everything better. There's a good good lesson for why you want to organize things. Here we go. Black border, pretty preset. Just for fun. And there we go. So now, and actually before I export it, I've just decided it's just a little too much red saturation for my taste his eyes. They're a little too red. We'll just go ahead and export that picture. Use unique names. They'll just usually call it 
dash two, dash three, dash four. Learned some things from this tutorial. I know I did it really fast, but hope you enjoyed and, and good luck editing.